boy was starting to slack up now, so I'm going to do that block. What's going on with y'all out there, man? This your main Daniel Prophet, and I'm about to cover this 5v5 fight. Now, it's on right now, and I thought it was going to be on tonight at 9 o'clock. When I Googled it, that's what it said yesterday. But apparently it's on right now because I went to YouTube. Somebody live streaming it now. And it's already down to the third and fourth fight of the main card. And a couple of uh, fights after that is going to be the main event. So, And I'm on Central Time. It's only two something down here. So all this stuff I got written down and shit like that with the weights and stuff like that. I'm like, what's the point of even talking about it? Because, shit, the fights are already started, shit. But, hey, I'm going to talk about a little something, something while I'm on here. You know, I ain't do all this work for nothing. Now, it's supposed to be placed in Saudi Arabia, and it's called 5v5. Matchroom versus Queensberry. You know, they rivals, so they're going to be at each other next. And the main event is supposed to be Big Bang Zane. These are the big boys. It's heavyweight. Big Bang Zane versus Deontay the Bomb Squad Wilder. Now, Big Bang, he came in at 282, and Wilder he came in at 214. You know, that's kind of normal because Wilder always come in like around 220. No more than 220, you know what I mean? Because, you know, he's a small heavyweight. And all his opponents always come in close to 300 pounds, you know. Fury, Parker, everybody, you know. So, this ain't nothing new. And excuse the noise in the background, because now these neighbors want to come out and start making all this goddamn noise. So, the past couple of fights that Wilder been, been in, you know, it's been kind of hard on him. You know, he lost the trilogy to Fury. And, um... You know, he lost the one side of fight against Parker, too, man. And I'm like, man, what the hell is going on with you, you know? I think he passed his prime, man. So he said if he loses this fight, he's going to go on and hang it up and uh, retire. He had a good career, man. You know, he defended his belt, you know, for 10 years and knocked out almost everybody in the ring that stepped, uh, you know, before him besides Fury and Parker. So he had a good career, man. So, you know, I enjoyed the entertainment that he provided for us. But... All the other fights underneath, they're going to be real good, man. You know, uh, we got Ammo Williams and Sherez. They just fought. Nick the Wrecking Ball versus Raymond Ford. I think they just fought. Craig Spider Richards versus uh, Willie the Hush Train Hutchison. They just fought. You know, and then we got Demetri Baval and uh, Zanad. They're about to fight. And then Daniel Dubois and Phillip, they're about to fight. So I'm about to go in and watch this shit right now, man, on YouTube, you know, so. I'm about to enjoy myself and go do this block tune a little bit before it starts back raining, man, because I got to go get that grip. You mean I got to go get that grip? But, man, uh, yeah, man, y'all check that shit out. It's on the zone, but I don't fuck with the zone shit. So go to a bar and check that motherfucker out or something. You know, save you some bread. You probably have to pay a $20 cover fee. Well, matter of fact, you probably ain't got to pay no cover fee because don't nobody know these people. You got to be a, a boxing head to know these people, man, besides Wilder, you know. But, uh, Y'all have a good...